Good evening, parents, family members, school district representatives, students, and of course, our most honored attendees, our 2020 graduates. Welcome to Lakeside School's annual graduation ceremony and its first virtual graduation ceremony. I am Brian Dagger, Lakeside's Senior Vice President. Our ceremony today is an opportunity to honor our graduating seniors. It is also a time to recognize a number of Lakeside School students who will be receiving some special awards. I trust that wherever you are and whoever you gathered with to view this ceremony, seated at least six feet away from you, you will feel that you are indeed a vital part of this celebration. When the 2019-2020 school year began back on August 31st, our vocabulary did not include words and phrases such as coronavirus, COVID-19, social distancing, self-quarantining, and flattening the curve. Mask wearing was reserved for superheroes and being in a red zone implied that you were playing football and were inside the opponent's 20 yard line threatening to score. Just when we thought we were prepared for any challenge, a pandemic was added to the mix. High school graduation, the class of 2020 has reached this momentous milestone in spite of one of the most significant challenges in recent history. I am sure that none of you envisioned a ceremony such as this. However, graduates, a virtual ceremony in no way lessens your accomplishments. One day you will be able to tell the world you successfully completed high school during a worldwide pandemic. And now you are more than ready for what is next in your life, whether that be college, vocational endeavors, or military service. At the outset of our program, I want to express a word of gratitude and appreciation to all those who helped make this day a reality. Joining us for this virtual graduation ceremony are many parents and grandparents who have faithfully loved and supported their children and grandchildren, thereby enabling them to reach this milestone in their lives. Graduates, remember to give your parents an extra hug after you proudly show them your diploma. Also joining us are many school district and county representatives who have worked tirelessly on behalf of our graduates. Your willingness and ability to support their enrollment at Lakeside School, as well as the encouragement you gave them along the way, does not go unnoticed. Thank you for all that each of you have done as well. Lastly, the commitment of each member of the Lakeside School staff must also be acknowledged. Thank you for the genuine care and dedication you have actively displayed for each of your students, which has provided them the opportunity to succeed and celebrate this significant accomplishment today. And now a few words about and to our graduates. Challenges are certainly not new to any of our graduates. Booker T. Washington said, success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. Each of our graduates can share with you some of the obstacles they have overcome. Some of those obstacles were created by their own doing while some were created by others. But more importantly, they can also share with you the life lessons they learned by overcoming those challenges and how overcoming has defined them as successful individuals. Author and speaker Charles Swindoll said, life is 10% what happens to me and 90% how I react to it. Our 2020 graduates are excellent testaments to this statement. At any point along their journey through life thus far, they could have said enough and thrown in the towel but each one responded to the obstacles they encountered, even the abrupt and unexpected interruption to their senior year with a resolve to overcome and finish well. Graduates, over the, over the past three months, there have been many conversations about when life returns to normal. Given what we have all experienced, normal will be new in many, many ways. Whatever path you take as you leave high school, you will be helping create a new normal. 
Some of you will enter a field of healthcare and be responsible for advancing how we care for those who need healing. Some will enter business and be responsible for building our, our economy. Some will become technicians and skilled at a craft and be responsible for developing our infrastructure, while others will become educators and help prepare future generations to keep improving our world. Each of you will help shape the new normal we will all experience when 2020 is behind us. Parents, school district representatives, and Lakeside School staff, the graduating class of 2020 is uniquely prepared to assume their place in life after high school. Graduates, on behalf of Lakeside, I wish you all the best and much success wherever you choose to go. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your high school experience. Congratulations. Peter Dillard is the director of Lakeside School. Peter will now come and introduce those who will be presenting a number of this year's special awards. Peter. Good evening. My name is Pete Dillard. I'm the program director of Lakeside School. Resiliency. Resiliency is a word that I use to describe our students at Lakeside School. And in today's world, our students were forced to use that resiliency to navigate the challenges presented by the COVID-19 viruses and the school closures. Some of those students in their resilience were able to excel before the school closures and even after. So right now, we would like to take a moment to acknowledge some of those student successes. Good evening. My name is Jen Falsk, and I'm an educational leader at Lakeside School. At Lakeside School, we have our student body divided into pods, gold, silver, platinum, and bronze. Student placement into these pods is mostly determined according to each individual student need and their grade level. Each pod team discussed and agreed upon students to be recognized for the following awards, either Student of the Year or Most Improved Student of the Year. I am here to present the award for Student of the Year to a deserving eighth grade student on the silver team, which is the pod that houses all of our middle school students. This award goes to a student who has demonstrated exemplary behavior, achieved good grades, and has been a positive role model for their peers. This student has met all of these requirements and then some, and has been a true delight to have in class. He consistently earned all of his behavior points. He worked toward achieving both growth level and honor roll. His teachers and counselor had the following comments to say about him. He has the right attitude to accomplish great things when he gets older. <clears throat> his positive attitude is a breath of fresh air. He has set himself apart with kindness, respect, and diligence. He is a model student. I personally have witnessed this student demonstrating these qualities in my science class. I have seen him be a role model to others, and he has demonstrated that he is invested in his education. He consistently showed respect to both his teachers and peers. While succeeding in school, he also works hours at a part-time job after school. All of these things, in addition to his work ethic and consistent behavior, are definitely going to allow him continued success with his schooling going forward. He has great potential, and I know he will do wonderful things as he returns to his home school for high school in the fall. It is my pleasure to present the Student of the Year Award from the Silver Program to Jefferson Figueroa Valadares. Congratulations, Jefferson. Great job. Good evening. My name is Wesley Brown and I am a teacher and the educational supervisor for the ninth and 10th grade, which is the platinum pod at Lakeside School. Today, I have the great pleasure of presenting the most improved student of the year award for the platinum team. The most improved student of the year qualifications are rather simple. Be a student in ninth and 10th grade, which has shown tremendous improvement in each of the following areas. 
academics, behavior, and attitude with both students and staff. And although another student might be slightly better in one of these areas, I would expect the most improved student of the year rising towards the top in each of these areas. Academically, the student started a little slow, but her teacher saw immense potential and ability. The student had low grades in six of eight classes in quarter one. Behaviorally, there were some low spots, and the student's attitude was difficult at best. In fact, as far as attitude goes, the student had plenty. Quarter two saw a decent turnaround where grades were low, but mostly passing. The student's behavior was still a little rough, and there was still plenty of attitude. Quarter three was amazing. The student's behavior was a complete turnaround. Instead of a snarl, there was a smile. Instead of acting out in class, the student was engaged and responding to teacher prompts and encouragement. The student's grades were on a roll level, and the student ended the third quarter with all A's and B's. In the fourth quarter, the student has reached honor roll status. Some of her teachers had the following comments. The student has become a student that I consistently count on. Not only does she take full responsibility and initiative for her own work, but she also assists her peers in helping them understand the material. She's an absolute delight to be around. She always makes me laugh and is regularly kind and encouraging. This student started out the school year in an unusual spot, then gradually turned it around by consistently advocating for herself academically and by prioritizing her schoolwork over the constant high school obstacles. As the year progressed, the student became goal-oriented. She recognized how important her academics are and what kind of impact it can have on her future. Her work ethic began to separate her from the rest of the pack. The student has grown so much when it comes to self-control. She is invested in learning patience and trying to understand another person's point of view. With all this, we would like to present the Most Improved Student of the Year Award to Miss Miana Manning. Congratulations, Miana. You started slow, but worked hard and finished strong. Good evening. My name is Kit Ramsdell, and I am a counselor here at Lakeside School and a part of the leadership for the Gold Pod. It is my honor to present to you today the Gold Pod's Most Improved Student of the Year. The Most Improved Student of the Year Award is given to a student who demonstrated exemplary growth throughout their time at Lakeside School. The student who receives this award typifies what it means to be a Lakeside student as they overcome obstacles one after another on their way to success. Their stories rival and surpass the best Hollywood comeback scripts. This year's recipient, a member of the graduating class from the Abington School District, has such a story. If I could use only one word to describe this year's honoree, it would be passionate. Were there times that her passion got her into some hot water? Absolutely. But that is what makes her story so great because it was also her passion and integrity that led her to make wrongs right, to overcome obstacles and achieve success. She showed her passion to succeed academically, earning high honor roll each quarter of the school year and behaviorally by achieving and maintaining G2, Lakeside's community-minded responsibility level. But most importantly, she displayed her passion and her thoughtful care for others. This year's honoree has a heart for people like none other. New this year, the Gold Pod participated in service learning trips to pediatric specialty care in Point Pleasant, Pennsylvania, a state-of-the-art long-term care facility for children with acute medical needs. Here, the Gold Pod students would read to and play with medically fragile and technology-dependent children. Leading the charge with this endeavor was this year's honoree. Always up to help out in whatever way she could our honoree not only took the lead when it came to engaging children at pediatric specialty care, but she was also a tremendous support to her fellow classmates, encouraging them 
to step out of their comfort zones and enter into meaningful relationships with the children. There is so much more I could say, but I will leave the final words for the teachers and staff that worked with her. They said of this year's recipient that she has a top-notch sense of humor, a real worker berserker. They described her as an apt student with a goal-oriented outlook, polite, teachable, and generous to others. Joyful, determined, and irrepressible. At times silly, but always caring. That's our girl. Without further ado, I give you the 2020 Gold Program Most Improved Student of the Year, Sophie McKenzie. Well done. How do you qualify to be considered the best student this year? Filled with change, uncertainty, and even a virtual graduation ceremony? Well, you need to be adaptable, you need to be engaging, and you need to finish the race. Without question, this is what the student of the year for the 11th and 12th grade program accomplished. My name is Casey Heilman. I lead the bronze program, which consists of the 11th and 12th graders of Lakeside School. I am representing the team to award the student who the staff have evaluated and voted to be the most deserving of this honor. I would like to list the summary of this year's performance, some obstacles, and his current goals. To mention some of the noteworthy qualifications this year's winner had are as follows. Earning honor roll for three quarters, topping the normal lakeside class load, he took additional courses to prepare him for graduation earning the most credits of any student this year. He prepared for and finished the SATs. What sets this man apart is his maturity level and sense of humor. This young man is able to see the benefits of the lessons being taught by the staff and how he can use those for college and his own life. He has a high level of wisdom. He can apply the knowledge that he has learned and reason through advice from others. For example, in my applied math course, he was given an option to choose any car. He chose a 1989 Porsche 911. Very specific and an iconic choice. Best answer I've received. I would like to state the significant changes that have led him to earn this award. This year, he has shown change in the areas of need from the previous year, demonstrating by exhibiting the qualities needed adaptability, engagement, and again, that ability to finish the race. Some may not have even pre predicted this young man to be here graduating and prized as the example of endurance and perseverance. But the bronze team are very proud and excited to have him as an example to the others in his class. From the past to the future, he is currently looking at the options of taking courses at Montgomery Community College as he has been accepted there. He has several great options for his next academic focus, computer technology or something in the business field. I will conclude and congratulate Jared Miller as the student of the year for the bronze program. Congratulations. Hello Lakeside students, families, fellow staff members. My name is Eric Smith and I'm the supervisor of clinical services at Lakeside School. And let me be just the latest person to add my sincere congratulations and admiration to all of you in the class of 2020. You've worked incredibly hard to get here. And the only thing that I'm sorry about is that I can't be with you face to face to celebrate this accomplishment. But it is my privilege to be able to give out this year's Lakeside Attendance Awards. You know, when you hear that word and you think about an attendance award, it's really easy to kind of think of somebody who just merely shows up. Think about somebody who's just kind of a physical presence. But that's not what we're talking about when we're talking about an attendance award. We're talking about somebody who makes their presence felt in ways that impact their own lives 
and the lives of those around them in positive ways. And the students that are gonna be receiving these awards today, they're not students that just merely had a physical presence in a seat every day. These are students who showed up, worked hard, and made their presence felt in some profoundly positive ways as part of our school community. The first student receiving this award had an attendance percentage of over 97% this school year. He's described as generous, he's described as intellectual, hardworking. He's someone who loves to stand up for the underdog. He's friendly and he's supportive of his peers and teachers describe him as a real asset in their classrooms. And he's been a consistent growth level student here at Lakeside and he also consistently shows an attitude of servanthood. And it's this consistency and attitude that have been huge reasons for his success here at Lakeside. And it's an honor for me to be able to announce that one of this year's Attendance Award winners at Lakeside is Anthony Alicia. Congratulations, Anthony. The second Attendance Award recipient this year is actually receiving this, war this award after multiple years of receiving it. Take a moment to consider that, the significance of consecutive, consecutive years of consistent effort and hard work and positive presence as part of our school community. And this is a student that not only works hard, but proactively seeks out ways to serve and encourage others. Even staff members here at Lakeside talk about how encouraging he is. He's a person who truly cares for other people and he's shined both here at Lakeside and also during his time at North Monco Tech where he also attends. Furthermore, he's maintained this attitude and effort consistently now for several years at here at Lakeside. And it's this approach that's gonna to continue to serve him well, not only as he continues on in his education, but on into, into adulthood and whatever he decides to pursue in his life. He's an absolute joy and privilege to have as part of the Lakeside community. He's a growth level student, 97% attendance or better. And it's my honor to present the second Lakeside Attendance Award for the 2019-2020 school year to Justin Sell. Congratulations, Justin. And again, congratulations to all of you in the class of 2020. We miss you and we wish nothing but the best for you. And we're proud of you. Good evening. My name is Caroline Smith. I'm Lakeside's Director of Special Education. Every year as graduation approaches, we ask a senior to represent their classmates in a time of reflection and looking toward the future. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing this year's speaker to you. Our senior class speaker for 2020 is Sophie McKenzie. Sophie comes to Lakeside from Abington School District. While with us at Lakeside, Sophie has grown in many ways. She's described by others as being insightful, hardworking, goal-oriented, and funny. She plans to attend Montgomery County Community College in the fall. We're excited to see what the future holds for her. And now, let's hear from Sophie. Hi, everyone. Um, how are you guys today? I hope you guys are hanging in there. And yeah, let's go. Congratulations to my fellow classmates of 2020. We did it. We finally made it. Feels like forever ago that we were in kindergarten. Crazy how time flies. There were days I never thought that I would make it to getting my diploma. Growing up, school wasn't my thing. I struggled with comprehending the work, doing the work, and making friends and so on. I jumped from school to school. Luckily, I came to the point in my life where I decided to check myself before I wrecked myself even more. I remember when my mom and I were looking for schools, we saw a brochure on a website that recommended Lakeside. My mom scheduled an appointment to visit the school. Boy, I was so nervous. Like, nervous. <laughs> I thought the school would accept me because I had troubles. We walked around and I could just feel it in my chest that I belonged here at Lakeside. When I toured the campus, I remember meeting John Klinger. 
He was talking to my mom and I was checking out the greenhouse. Boy, I thought to myself, man, he's a talker. <laughs> I knew right away I would like him. It was a great first impression. My journey here at Lakeside hasn't been easy. I thank God for letting me meet such incredible, incredible people who have changed me, accepted me, and believed in me. They have loved me at my best and my worst. Getting to be a student here at Lakeside and meeting all these wonderful people is one heck of an amazing blessing. And I honestly wouldn't be graduating without all these people. Thank you for helping me to be who I am today. I really want to thank Caroline for going on a limb and accepting me at Lakeside. She gave me a chance and believed in me even though she was unsure if it was a good idea. Maybe it wasn't a good idea, but at first, now look at me. I also want to thank Adam and Samantha Roseland. They have been there since day one, and I mean day one. Also, thank you to every staff that has walked this journey with me. Penelope, best friend. Donna Ruth Mulvaney, Vicky, Mark, Kit, John, Meredith, Caitlin, Bob, Bill, Chanel, and Peter Pan. To all the other staff that I didn't mention, thanks for making my three years at Lakeside so memorable. I will miss you guys so much. Henry Ford once said, obstacles are those frightful things you see when you take your eyes off the goal. I'm standing here today to say to my fellow classmates, don't give up. It does get better. Anything is possible. We all have walked different paths and we have different stories to tell. Even if you had it rough growing up, just take a moment and see that your goals and dreams are true to you and you will be ready for the next chapter in life. Winnie the Pooh once said, how lucky I am to have have something that makes saying goodbye so hard right now in this moment let's just take a second and be proud of ourselves and one another we have come far we made it congratulations again peace out and now the moment you have been waiting for we want to recognize the most unique graduating class in my lifetime i don't think you can really truly appreciate the journey unless you have walked in the graduate shoes or their parents and guardian shoes. But for those of us who have the opportunity to work with these students on a regular basis, we do get a glimpse into how challenging the journey has been. And as a result, we hold a great deal of admiration and respect for these graduates and their families. These people have stood by them through it all. And so we thank God for the success that these students have had. So today, we honor you, the graduating class of Lakeside School, and we recognize and congratulate you for completing the requirements of your school and the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Our first graduate is Kwamar Adams. Hi, Kumar. I just want to say that I am so proud of you. You did it. You made it. Congratulations on graduating. Mar, you are a leader with endless potential. Keep chasing your dreams. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Daniel Brooks Brown. Hey Dan, it's Rhonda, your Resolve Buddy. I want to say congratulations on your graduation. I know you're happy to be finished at Lakeside and I'm really proud of you. And I want to say thank you for making me laugh and keeping me on my toes. I will miss seeing your face around campus, but I wish you all the best moving forward. Take care. Congratulations, Dan Brooks Brown. You made it. This is your day. I'm glad you stuck through it and saw it to the end, even though it was not easy uh, along the along the journey. Uh, so best of luck to you in your future. You've always been one of my most thoughtful and inquisitive students, always wanting to know more about the world around you. Keep that spirit alive as you go forth out into the world. This is the beginning, as I taught in transitions class. So when you get that diploma, it's the starting line, not the finish line, the starting line to the rest of your life. You'll do fantastic things if you keep up those quality skills that we both know you have. Congratulations again and best of luck in your future. Miles Dakar.
Miles, congratulations on your accomplishment. I know it didn't come easy. I know every day sometimes seemed like you never wanted to come back to Lakeside, since that is something that you said constantly. Am I glad? I'm glad I had the chance to meet you and your mom um, in that time when we were able to talk for for a while. Um, it reflected a different kind of miles, or I saw a different kind of miles, one that who was caring and loving, and also I saw your mom's concern and care and loving for you. So with that in mind, I say congratulations to you graduating in 2020, and also to your parents, congratulations to them. Hello, my name is Frederick Hagen, and I'm a counselor here at Lakeside School. Uh, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate Miles uh, for completing his high school diploma. Uh, Miles, uh, um, I know all the obstacles you had to overcome uh, to get to where you are and all the hard work it took to get to where you are and the perseverance it took to get to where you are. And you have every reason to be proud of your accomplishments. I um, also want to take this opportunity to congratulate the class of 2020. A job well done. Diane Gambon. Hello, my name is Tamika Oliver and I'm a counselor at Lakeside School. I've had the pleasure of getting to know Diane this year. She's a very intelligent, hardworking, and determined individual. This year was a little rocky, but she proved she wouldn't let anything stop her from graduating. Diane, I just want to say congratulations, and I'm so proud of you. You deserve this. Congratulations, Miss Diane. I will definitely miss you coming into my office with your quick hellos and me asking you where are you supposed to be. I want you to always remember how strong and bright and beautiful you are inside and out. I know you will be great at real estate or whatever it is that you choose to make your dream. Many blessings to you. Justin Harvey. Justin, congratulations. Uh, I don't know you too well, but I wanted to just um, tell you uh, how much I appreciated having you on the van and just Oftentimes you were the last one to get off, and that's a hard that's a hard spot to be in uh, on a van, a long van run. And so, I wanted to thank you for uh, not you know not making it hard and difficult, and you were you know pretty easy going about it. And uh, and oftentimes we had some really good conversations, um, ones that um, told me a lot about you and how you can be a good listener and uh, how you can think through things um, in a mature way and. Uh, you know, just I have a lot of respect for you and I really um, think if you kind of take that uh, attitude of listening and, you know, being a good, uh, com you know, talking about, you know, harder things sometimes and working through uh, conflict with people, uh, I think it's going to serve you well. And um, I just wanted to say I appreciated that and uh, I wish you all the best. Congratulations again um, and, you know, uh, come and visit. All right. Justin, you're graduating. Congratulations. You made it. You made it through this year. Uh, we'll miss you in the kickboxing room, but we're excited that you put in the work that you needed to. So good job. Caleb Kemp. Hey, Caleb. Congratulations on graduating. It was great having you in class, even though it wasn't for very long. I wish it had been longer. It was great getting to know you. Good luck, man. Take care. Hey, Caleb. Congratulations on being part of the class of 2020. Although you're entering a world that's very different from what you expected, it's a world that absolutely needs you. I know it, your family knows it, and your teasers at Lakeside know that you are ready for what lies ahead of you. Best wishes to you. You're part of something special. You're part of the Lakeside class of 2020. Good luck. Congratulations, man. You did it. Kyle Kibler. Hi Kyle, congratulations. You've made it to graduation. I am so proud of you. It has been an absolute pleasure getting to work with you this past year. Um, you are truly one of a kind. Very proud of you. 
Keep going, keep moving forward, you've got this. Keep in touch. Congratulations, Kyle. I will miss listening to your stories and drinking tea with you. You worked so hard this year. Never stop finding the adventures in life. Sophie McKenzie. Hey Sophie, it's Caitlin. I just wanted to say I'm so, so proud of you and all that you've accomplished this year and all of the years leading up to this year. I know it wasn't easy for you, but I feel really honored and blessed that I was able to be a part of your journey and I cannot wait to hear all of the great things that are coming ahead for you. Make sure you keep in touch. Congratulations, Sophie. You've done a good job. You've worked hard. School's been hard but we've worked together and we've done a pretty good job. I'm wishing you all the best. I hope you do well in your further education and in life. Keep in touch with us. It's been a blessing to work with you. John Maley. Hey, John Maley, it's Mike. Congratulations, you're graduating high school. I'm so proud of you. Um, I always enjoyed your perspective in class and your diligence, so keep it up, okay? Congratulations. John, congratulations. Um, I know I haven't known you um, very long, but I can say that you've made a great impression on me. I will always remember your energy and pleasant manner. I hope you carry that with you as you go into your future endeavors. And I wish you all the best. And again, to you and your family, congratulations. Nicholas Marcolina. Nick, this day seemed so far away when you first sat in my classroom back in eighth grade, but you're here. You did it. I'm definitely gonna miss seeing your face and definitely our van chats, especially when the light at the end of your street would refuse to turn. But I'm really proud of you, bud. Keep doing great things. Nick Margolina, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. You know, there's not that many teacher-student duos who see each other twice a day, every day, who kill it the way that we killed it. Um, I am it was a pleasure having you in class this past year, even when you got me extremely off topic, like talking about how Ikea is a great place to go hang out. But I am so proud of you and I can't wait to see what you do and best of luck. Michaela McGuigan. Congratulations. I am so stinking proud of you. You have grown so much in the three years I've known you, and you're going to accomplish amazing things. Stay in touch. I'm going to miss you greatly, and Game Room won't be the same. Congrats. When I think about you, it brings a smile to my face because you have a wonderful sense of humor, and that's going to take you a long way, so don't ever lose it. One of my favorite memories was playing paintball together on our paintball trip. We had a lot of laughs that day. Um, I'm sorry that we didn't get a chance to have that last buffalo chicken pizza to commemorate your graduation, but I still want to congratulate you on graduating and best wishes in all your endeavors. Take care. Joseph Mango O'Connell. Hey Joe, how's it going? Uh, so I have to leave a video message for you as you prepare to graduate. First of all, congratulations. Um, and as I was thinking about what to say in this video, I couldn't help but remember that time that you won me the mug in the bingo game, which is what I'm drinking out of right now. Um, first of all, thanks for all the memories. You <laughs> brought a lot of laughter and like tears of happiness to my life. You were so much fun to have in class and you've given me a lot of really good memories and stories. I hope you all the best in the future. Uh, keep that sense of humor and I hope to see you outside in the real world so I can give you this congratulations in person. 
good luck and best wishes for everything that's ahead of you. See you later. Joe, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. Um, it's crazy to think that we've been on a three-year journey together now, but it's been incredible watching you grow and seeing everything that you've been able to achieve. And I know there's a lot left for you to accomplish after graduation. I'm very excited to see what you decide to do. But more than anything, I just wanted to tell you how proud I am of you. It really has been a privilege to work with you over the last three years. I know it's been a bit of a roller coaster, but I feel really, really lucky to have been able to work with you. And I'm so excited to see what comes next for you. So congratulations and best of luck. Jared Miller. Jared man, Jared. You always call me Mark Man, so I'm going to call you Jared Man. Um, congratulations! Uh, you must feel really great um, getting to this point. And uh, I just wanted to tell you uh, how thankful I am uh, for having you in class and how you taught me um, quite a bit and uh, taught me about communication and um, how to be a better teacher. You taught me. Um, a lot of things in our conversations on all sorts of topics. You taught me, uh, you were, in fact, you were, um, probably didn't know it, but I felt like you helped me create a, a safe environment in class by just being so open and caring towards everyone in class. Um, it seemed that you had good relations with, uh, pretty much everyone in class and, um, it kind of eased any tension and, um, made things a lot smoother. And so, uh, I have you to be thankful for for that and um i wish you all the best you know you have a bright future ahead of you um no doubt you'll go on and um do some really great things and so uh just congratulations and um you know uh i'll miss you all right see you jared man jared i'm so proud of you you've accomplished so much in such a short period of time you've showed such resilience and have ended your senior year so strong. I'm going to miss our Netflix chats and Uno matches. You will do amazing in college. I wish you the best of luck. Tyler Moffat. Hi, Tyler. When you came to me at the beginning of the school year saying you wanted to graduate this year, I thought that it was going to be impossible. You had to complete two and a half extra credits above and beyond a full schedule. However, you completed all your independent studies and you maintained good grades throughout the whole year. You showed some true grit and that will last you for the rest of your lifetime. Congratulations, I am so, so proud of you. Tyler, it has been just a privilege to see the man that you've become. I'm so impressed uh, with your work ethic, uh, with the way that you treat others with kindness, um, and just how you're an all around great guy. I think if you just keep those things up, uh, you can really do anything. So uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens in your future. Um, and yeah, just thanks, thanks for being an excellent student. Eric Sheik. Hi, Eric. Uh, I am so proud of you for getting to graduation day. I know it's been kind of a long journey. Uh, you and I have been at the school for four years and I really enjoyed getting to know you. Um, I really enjoyed all our talks uh, when we were just waiting in the van after you'd done van sheets, waiting for everybody to come out. Uh, I'm gonna miss chatting about Pokemon. I mean, Q's gonna miss that too. Uh, I'm going to miss chatting about, you know, how our days went and what's going on in the school and just every, anything and everything. I'm so going to miss those, but I am so happy that uh, you've hit this milestone in your life and that you're going to be moving on to uh, the next stage of your life and you're going to grow even more. And um, I am so proud of you. I'm going to miss you, uh, but I'm happy for you. 
and I just wish you all the best. And don't be a stranger, man. Uh, see ya. Love you, buddy. Eric, I can't believe it's been four years, man. Uh, from when you first started with us, being student of the year, to just seeing you grow over the following years, and now you're graduating. You're a great young man with a bright future ahead of you. Please keep in touch. I hope to see you soon. God bless. Brandon Schur. Congratulations, Brandon. I am standing here in front of the greenhouse uh, because it makes me think of you and how hard you've worked these past four years. I wanted to let you know just how incredibly proud I am of you uh, and that I know that you are going to do great things in the future. Hi, Brandon. It's Vicki. I just wanted to take this time to say congratulations, to wish you well for the future and whatever you do. And um, I'm just sending many blessings your way and uh, just continue to don't quit, don't give up in whatever you do. Take care, my friend. Bye. Jonte Slade. Jonte, congratulations, bud. Every time I look at my bathroom pass, I still think of you from all your drawings on the back. <laughs> Every morning, you always make sure to say hello, greet me with a big smile, and just don't, don't lose that part of yourself. Stay nice. You never know what people are going through, and all they need is your big old smile to make their day better. All right, hang in there, bud. Best of luck. We're going to miss you. Congratulations, Jante. This is such a special day. I hope you're at home with your family celebrating your achievements and enjoying this very, very important and special day. You're such a bright and capable young man, and I just want you to know that I truly believe that no matter what you set your mind to, you will be able to achieve it. So, you know, follow your passion, figure out what you want to do, and really go for it because you can do anything that you set your mind to. Sending you all my best wishes and congratulations. Quinn Taylor. Quinn, I still have a note that you wrote to me during your eighth grade year because it was so thoughtful and it meant so much to me. I'll definitely miss having you as my badminton buddy in PE, but girl, today's your day. You did it and I am so proud of you. Hey, Quinn, congratulations on your strong finish at Lakeside and uh, best of luck in your new beginnings. And now I'm going to have to find a new walking partner. I'm going to miss you, Quinn. Chelsea Thomas Brown. Congratulations, Chelsea. This is so exciting and I hope you're feeling really, really proud of yourself. I know we haven't known each other for that long, but I just wanted to tell you how impressive it was to see your commitment and motivation to earn this diploma and to be here today. You have a lot to celebrate, and I hope you and your family are celebrating together right now and enjoying this very special day. Best wishes and congratulations. Congratulations, Chelsea. We've only known you a short while, but really happy for you and wish you well in your future. Alec Tucker. Congratulations, Alec. Talk about cutting it close, but you did it. Please remember that hard work always pays off. I'm really looking forward to seeing where your creative ideas and crazy thinking will take you in this world. Many blessings to you. Brother, I'm proud of you. My gosh, you did it. You have made it through. A pretty difficult couple years. I know you've been through some pretty major stuff in these last couple years. And what I've been so thankful for you is that you've had some very, very real conversations with me, whether it was at school or on the van or whatever. And man, I just wanted you to know I'm proud of you. Congratulations on graduating during maybe the most difficult time any student ever graduated from any school ever. Proud of you, brother. Can't wait to see what happens next. Good luck. David Walsh. Hi, David. This is a shout out to you for graduation. 
much joy. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. And it's been a pleasure to get to know you this year. Dave, it was fun having you in class. I truly appreciated you being there. You were fun to work with. You were always, always interested in what was going on, always willing to, to learn. And I, and I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact that you're also going into all mechanics. We do absolutely need mechanics in this world. There's a lot of people who know how to drive a car, but nobody knows how to actually fix them. And that's, that's where you come into the picture. Uh, I, I know you will not hurt for a job. We need industrial mechanics. And whether you end up working on cars or trucks or boats or whatever you end up doing, I know you will do just fine. I know that you will be able to always have a job. Congratulations, and I wish you the absolute best with your future. And last but not least, Philip Whalen. Congratulations, graduates. Hi, my name is John Klinger. I am the horticulture coordinator for Lakeside Schools Greenhouse. I've had the opportunity of working with Phil Whalen over the past four years, and I want to congratulate him on his wonderful achievement of graduating from Lakeside School. I have watched you persevere from not wanting to come to school four years ago to a student who comes every single day. We will miss your laughter, we'll miss your jokes, we'll miss your dance routines, but most of all, we'll miss the talks in the morning during our coffee time. It's been great working with you, Phil, and best wishes in the future. Phil, I am so glad that after meeting you when you first walked into my class, what is it, five years ago now, that I get to see you graduate high school. I'm definitely going to miss picking you up in the mornings. I hope that you keep reading, but even more than that, I hope you keep making people laugh. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Tamika Oliver, and I'm a counselor at Lakeside School. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You've worked long and hard, and it's finally paid off. Again, congratulations. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. I know you're all very excited to be at this moment. And I'm so happy for you and proud of all of you. And I hope moving forward that you're able to follow through on your goals and your dreams. And I wish you all the best. Take care. My name is Tim Geisler. I am a Resolver and Counselor at Lakeside School. And I just wanted to wish congratulations to the entire class of 2020. We are so excited and so proud of all of you especially considering the unusual circumstances of this past year. You have made it to the finish line. Best wishes to all of you. We believe in you. I am Melanie, the science teacher for the Platinum Program, and I am so proud of each and every one of you. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I wish you the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations, class of 2020. You were presented with unprecedented challenges and you still did it. We are so, so proud of you. Well, hello there, class of 2020. This is Adam Schaefer, the behavior manager who will never again search you, send you to the resolve room, or ask you questions about something that happened in the bathroom. Guys, I'm so proud of you. I don't even know how to say it. I would give anything to be able to be there with you and congratulate you and hug you. Wear my once a year hat leather chucks. Just want to say it again, guys. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Hi, seniors. I am so proud of you for getting to this point. This year has certainly had its struggles, but you guys persevered and now you're graduating and you're going to move on to bigger and better things. And I, again, I'm just so proud of you. Congratulations. We're going to miss you, but we definitely wish you well in all of your future endeavors. Love you guys. Hi, my name is Christy Chapman. I am a middle school English teacher at Lakeside. I wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. And I'm so proud of all of you. Good luck in everything you do in the future. I'm Roger Stevens. I'm one of the elective teachers at Lakeside. I want to congratulate the 2020 graduates. 
you guys are a great bunch, and I wish you all the best as you head out into this great, big, crazy world. My name is Mike Borio. I'm a teacher at Lakeside School, and I wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it, and we are all so proud of you. Congratulations. My name is Elise Reed, and I am a counselor at Lakeside School, and to the class of 2020, I just want to say congratulations. We are all incredibly proud of you and so excited to see what comes next for each and every single one of you. Enjoy your day. My name is Amy Robertson and I'm an educational supervisor. I would like to extend my congratulations to the class of 2020. We are so proud of you guys. I'm Daniel Brown, a science instructor at Lakeside School. I'm here to congratulate you the graduating class of 2020. I'm proud of each and every one of you on a job well done, and I wish you all the best. Hey, it's Grace from the Platinum Pod, and congratulations, class of 2020, on all of your hard work and getting this far. You should feel so proud of yourselves. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Jackie Roche. I'm an English teacher at Lakeside School. I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2020, and I want to wish you all the best of luck in all of your future endeavors. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. I'm Jen Belfury, Behavior Manager at Lakeside School. I wish you all the very best. Have a wonderful summer, and good luck on all your adventures. Hi, this is Kevin Woolston, Social Studies teacher at Lakeside School. Just want to say to the class of 2020, Congratulations, we are so proud of you. Please stay in touch. We hope to hear from you in the future. God bless. Hey guys, it's Krista Geising, our Supervisor of Behavior Management. It's been a unique and difficult journey for many of you, but with a lot of hard work and determination, you did it. Congratulations and good luck. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Be proud of yourselves. You've overcome so many obstacles to get to this point. I wish you all the best as you move on to new adventures. My name is Mark Mann. I'm an industrial arts teacher here at Lakeside School. I want to give my heartfelt congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Congratulations on finishing your high school career. I wish you the absolute best for your future. I know you will achieve everything that you want to achieve. Thank you and good luck. My name is Patrick First. I'm a mathematics teacher at the Lakeside School, and I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. Best wishes to you all. I'm so proud of you guys. You did it. Hi, my name is Samantha Anderson, and I'm a counselor for Lakeside School. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. My name is Samantha Mariano, and I'm a special education teacher at Lakeside School. I just want to say congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. My name is Suzanne and I teach math at Lakeside School. I just wanted to say congratulations to all the seniors in the class of 2020. I am so proud of all the hard work and dedication you put in to get to where you are today. Good luck to each and every one of you in your future endeavors. You did it. Hello Lakeside, my name is Tina Lewis. I am the English teacher in the Platinum program here at Lakeside. I had the pleasure of teaching some of the seniors back in their ninth and 10th grade year. I just wanted to take a moment to congratulate the class of 2020 and wish you well in the future. Thank you for all of the memories and I hope to see you soon to congratulate you in person. See you soon. Hello 2020 graduates, congratulations. This is Beverly, I teach transitions and home management at Lakeside. I wish you the best for your future and may the best of life be ahead of you. Hello, I'm Brian Soteris, Industrial Arts Teacher at Lakeside Schools, and I'm here to congratulate the graduating class of 2020. I'm Allie Porter. I'm a Behavior Manager at Lakeside School. I wanted to take the time to wish the class of 2020 congratulations on all of your achievements. As you head out into your next adventure, remember to be bold, be strong, be kind, and be you. Congratulations and best wishes on all of your future endeavors. To the class of 2020, um, congratulations. I hope you enjoy all the unique things that are being done to help celebrate your graduation. To all the graduates, congratulations and best in the future. Hi, 
My name is Caitlin Cummings. I'm a counselor at Lakeside School. I just wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys did it. We are so proud of you and we can't wait to hear about all of the great things that lie ahead for you. Hello all. My name is Donna Mulvaney and I'm a lead special education instructor at Lakeside School. I want to wish all the graduates many, many blessings as you go out into this next exciting chapter of your life. Congratulations, Lakeside class of 2020. We're so proud of you. Hey, class of 2020. Katrina here, social studies teacher to the stars. I want to say congratulations. You guys did it. Uh, and in the words of Winnie the Pooh, remember, you're braver than you believe, you're stronger than you seem, and you're smarter than you think. And as I would say, remember, impeachment is the process of removal of a public official, not the actual removal. Congrats, guys. I'm so proud of you. My name is Mark Dixon. I'm the art teacher at Lakeside School. I'd like to congratulate our graduating class of 2020. Best of luck to all the seniors. Great job. You did it. Hey, Lakeside. Brandon here. Wishing the class of 2020 congratulations on all their hard work and making it through this year. Hey class of 2020, I am elated for you guys. I cannot wait to see what you guys have in store in your lives next. All the best wishes to you. Hello Lakeside Seniors. Uh, my name is Vicki Torson. I'm one of the teachers in the Gold Pod program. I just want to take this minute to wish you well, offer congratulations, and to encourage you to keep moving forward, never quit, persevere in whatever your uh, in future endeavors may be. Um, many blessings. Bye. My name is Pete Diller, and I'm the program director of Lakeside School. And I would like to say to the graduating class of 2020, congratulations, guys. Best wishes. Well done. I am so proud of you all.